Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to al -Kadim, the Genie's Curse. Let's go pay a visit to the Ifrit. With the super loud chessboard sounds. Which really aren't even chessboard sounds. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, I've used it. Master, the worm is knocked into the pieces. I shall teach him to intrude while you are winning. Fire, flames, gain in power. Wait for my command. Go! Do -do 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 -do. The flames touch you with no effect. The queen's eyes widen with alarm. Queen? You must have been traded by that... aided by that treacherous Aziz. Well, let it not be said that the Afrit do not keep their word. You may stand before the master for an audience. Well, thank you. A masterfully played game, mortal. I salute you. Many thanks, Your Radiance. Now I beg you to listen. I have a tale to tell you about the genie's curse. You tell the Afriti all about the madness that seemed to possess your family's genie, and all the woe that transpired as a result. Now let me tell you a tale, mortal. It so happened once when I was younger and more foolish, I was bound by a Shayir from your land. He was the guardian of a dismal little town called Zaratan. I believe his name was Farid al-Mutan. That couldn't have even been that long ago. I'm pretty sure genies live for an extremely long time. I served him well and faithfully, as all genies must serve their lawful masters. Yet one day something remarkable happened. The words that bound me, which the Shayir had written in smoke on the wind, somehow came unraveled. It was though an unseen hand had found them and erased them. In a moment I sensed that Farid al-Mutan was no longer my master, and I fled that place in joy. Until now I was the only one. The genie's blessing gave me my freedom, and for that I am indebted. What is the genie's blessing? It is the power that set me free. Mortals call it a curse. But now, of course, I no longer think of it as a blessing. It is a menace. Why do you no now call the blessing a menace? Do you not see? The ones who interfered with, our fam with your family's genie did not set him free. They became his new master. When I was freed from servitude, it was a boon. But now it seems that someone has the power to make any genie serve them, perhaps forever. Can't you put a stop to this? No. If any genie tried to interfere, he or she would be forced into perpetual servitude. Who is behind the genie's blessing? Of course, it is the nameless masters who released me from my servitude. And they are the new masters of your family's genie. Oh, goody. They're called Nameless Masters, huh? Well, how am I supposed to find them? Who are the Nameless Masters? Why, an alliance of powerful Sha'irs, of course. Can it be you have never heard of them? Or why, your own father is one of the Nameless Masters, son of al Hazred. Oh, you've earned 1,600 experience points. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to go talk to Daddy again. Also, as someone uh, pointed out, Al Hazred is pretty close to uh, the Mad Arab Abdul Al Hazred, uh, the author of the Necronomicon in uh, Cthulhu, Cthulhu Mythos, um, and of course with uh, Shaharizad. Yeah. Thank you. I think now I must go. My advice to you, son of Al Hazred, is this. If you wish to know the truth about the Nameless Masters, ask your own father. He can tell you where they can be found. You showed great strength of will to gain this audience. I will bestow upon you a gift for planting the seed of interest in the day. Take this pebble. It will make your quest easier. You receive a shard of the Moonstone that makes your sword more powerful. It is now a plus two of sword. Thank you. No, I want to. I want to talk to you. Stay here no longer, son of the nameless one. It is time for you to depart. 
I'm not the son of the nameless one. Jeez, that's rude. Okay, well, let's go talk to the Caliph and uh, get our quest. Uh, get our quest. Get our uh, get an get a permission to see our our poppy, our dad, our father, our old man, whatever you want to call him. All right, Jeeves, take me. Take me back to Bandar al Sadat. Oh, I can't go back to, uh, um... Hmm. I can't go back to the Isle of the, uh, uh, Genies or the, uh, the Fire Isle. Sanat. Are we gonna get anything? Are we gonna get anything? No pirates. The ship is attacked. Water elementals jump up from the sea onto the ship. How many, uh, water elemental ones do I have? Only one. So I definitely don't want to use it. I'm honestly not even sure if I'm hitting. <laughs> That's for blooping at me. Wow, I took almost no damage. Alright. Thanks, Jeeves. Let's uh, get back on our journey. The captain calls out, Land ho, we have arrived, lad. Thanks, Jeeves. Yes, I know the, star the rowboat is on the starboard side. I know you know. Well, then why do you keep telling me? Because it annoys you. We have a very quality relationship, the two of us. Highest quality. It's a fantastic relationship. The guards watch you suspiciously. This is a very long town. I kind of wish the town wasn't so long. <laughs> a little bit more broad. Fish! Fresh fish! Bite me. Fish! Fresh fish! Mmm, meat. Delicious meats. <laughs> Yum. Hello? Halt! Oh, it is you again. Very well, you may pass. I thank you. I appreciate it. It's a nice looking uh, entrance, I will say that. Hello. Greetings unto you, noble hero who saved our beloved Caliph. Thank you. I appreciate that I get some praise from some of you. Greetings, citizen. catch a glimpse of boring population of military figures. One of the vizier's aides says, I would cover these up because they are none of your business, but they are so unimportant that I will not waste my time. How may I be of assistance, son of al -Hazred? Uh, I wish to see my family. Oh dear, oh dear. Only the caliph can grant a, an audience with a crim, uh, a prisoner. Uh, so take me to the caliph. May the waters of heaven rain patience down upon me. The Caliph? You wish to see the Caliph? That's what I just said. Do you want me to repeat myself? That is what I said. Well, I shall magically consult with him and see if you are worthy of an audience. A thousand pardons, son of al Hazred, but the Caliph is too busy for visitors. Good day. What? I wish to speak to the Caliph. That's what I said. Hate you. All right. Maybe if we just uh, barge right in. Let's do it. A thousand pardons, noble sir, but the vizier has instructed me to tell you to address all concerns directly to him. I don't care. 
Ah, I'm in here. Guard calls out, Do not disturb his royal caliph while he is busy. If you want an audience, talk to the vizier. You are ignored, and very obviously at that. The door will not open. I saved your life. I need to see my... Uh, Alright, fine. Maybe if I just go to the... Uh, the guard himself. Maybe I can give another bribe. That's not it. Somebody getting getting some visual glitchiness in here. Ah, oh, most noble Al Hazred, I fear that I cannot grant you access to our most humble dungeon. You must first gain permission from our most n honorable and wise caliph. <laughs> Let me buy. Well, we have a little bit of a conundrum. The Caliph will not see us. We are not allowed to uh, see our father. We cannot bribe the guard, who is very, very obviously bribable before. And the Vizier is of no help either. Can I just, like, stab you? I should see my family. In that case, I'll leave now. Alright. Well. Excuse me, noble sir. Word with you, if you please. The head chef has prepared a special feast in your honor, O rescuer of the Caliph. She is waiting for you north of the banquet hall next to the fire. We would be honored if you would partake of it before you leave the palace. I'm too busy for such foolishness. Another time, perhaps, I'd be delighted. The Caliph and I are not seeing eye to eye on some important matters now. I'd better not. Oh, but sir, the Caliph matters less to us than your heroism and valor. Oh? Please reconsider. How dare you say the Caliph means less to you? Well, you do have a point there. I'll join you. Splendid. Sumia will be happy. She's the head chef. Be sure to tell her you accept. Thank you for agreeing to grace us with your courageous presence, noble sir. Okay. Interesting. I wonder uh, what this is all about. Why would why there why would there be a banquet for me alone? Greetings unto you, noble hero who saved our beloved Caliph. Uh, I assume that's you? Greetings, noble hero. Hero, I am Sumia, the head chef. The tales of your heroism have reached our humble corner of the castle, and we are in awe of you. Truly, you are an inspiration to us all. Please accept our offering of rich delicacies that we prepared for you. Oh, you are too kind. The food is excellent. It makes you feel much better. Hey, it healed me. We are honored that one as virtuous as you would accept our simple offering. But we have more to offer than food. Uh, I'm, I'm to be married. I, that's not what you meant, right? Okay, sorry. I hear you wish to get into the Caliph's dungeon. Yes? How did you hear that? You heard wrong. You heard correctly. What business of that is yours? How do you know that? I take great risks to learn these things. I know a way you can reach your family in the dungeon without Caliph, without the Caliph's knowledge or permission. I offer you that help. Do you accept it? Uh, I fear that to do so would not be honorable. All you have earned one thousand experience points. I am relieved to hear you say that you have passed the first test and proved that you are a man of honor. But now I must reveal to you that a cloud of wickedness has settled over the land. Our rulers are not what they seem. Innocent men and women languish in jail, and their sons and daughters are left stranded far away. And meanwhile, the wicked remain free and seize more power. When laws are made by the honorless, the honorable must become outlaws. 
Are you saying my family is innocent? Wow, I'm shocked. I had no idea. Uh, what do you mean? The Caliph is a tyrant who is destroying the land by doing the bidding of vile sorcerers. But you have proven your honor by remaining faithful to him even when he treats you and your family so shamefully. Your land is worthy of such an honor. Your Caliph is not. Remember, noble sir, for every insult to a person's honor, restitution must be made. The graver the offense, the greater the restitution. The crime against you is severe. You have a right to restitution. It is not dishonorable to clear your name. In fact, honor demands it. I see. I will accept your offer. Get me into the dungeon. Good. There is a secret stairway to the dungeon from this kitchen. It leads to the old dungeon, which was designed long ago to imprison marauding monsters. That will lead you to the new dungeon, which was designed last year to imprison citizens who oppose the Caliph. Your family is imprisoned in the new dungeon, but to get to the new dungeon, you must go through the old dungeon. Be careful, for there are still monsters in the old dungeon. The key to the dungeon's secret stairway is held by the man who runs Bandar al-Sadat's office of trade by the city gates. Tell him that Sumi has sent you for the key to the Caliph's wine cellar. Return here with the key, and I will reveal more. You must go now. The Brotherhood of Freedom smiles on you. May fate smile on you as well. The Brotherhood of Freedom, huh? Yeah, I don't mind being a freedom fighter. Alright. Let's go see if we can get that key. Do you wish to leave the palace? I do. Okay. Old key, or old dungeon key, here I come. This it should be all the way down to the first building. No, no, I don't want your fresh fish. I don't care about your fresh fish. Leave me alone. You guys should really pave this place. Just saying. I think this is it. Yep. Um, actually, neither. Trade business. Sumi has sent me for the key to the Caliph's wine cellar. Hush, come back behind the table where we can talk quietly. Alright. Listen carefully, the person you need to speak to is Omar the Baker. We've changed our codes. Do not mention the wine cellar, but instead tell him that you want the key of bone. Okay. Been very odd, but okay. Whatever. Oh, Mr. Baker. Sands Point Gambling Club. Hello again, all. What can I do for you? Uh, the services of a Corsair are needed here. Are you no longer in Zaratan? Nothing for now. All right. I think I have gotten the uh, highest level in the uh, sword move. Private home. Okay, where is the baker? Is that you? Uh, Sumi has sent me for the key of bone. Oh, she did splendid. Anyone who earns her trust is a trusted ally indeed. Here is the key. May the gods smile upon your mission. All oh, you have earned 1,000 experience points. And may the gods look kindly upon you. Okay. There we go. Bone key. The, well, that's a little obvious. Maybe you should have gone with a different... different code. Just saying. Hmm. 
give me that thing that uh, is very clear what uh, what I'm asking for. Give me the uh, the password should have get been. Give me the snorkel blast of Galforth. And no one could guess that. All right, Sumia, I have the Key of Bone. Sumia, where are you? I have the Key of Bone right here in my pocket that you wanted me to go get in secret. All you've earned 1,000 experience points. How wonderful. Now that you have the key, you may enter the dungeon through the secret passage in the Northeast Pantry. Please bring this key back to me after you have spoken with your family. We will need it for future missions. Would you like to know about the dungeon's construction? Uh, sure. We discovered an old secret passageway left behind by the dwarves that built the palace in the old dungeon. The passageway leads from the kitchen to the old dungeon. I think it's the first time any other race other than humans have been mentioned. The Caliph sealed off the old dungeon when he built this new dungeon. His enemies were no longer monsters but men, for he had made his subjects enemies. In order to reach our fellows in the new dungeon and avoid the monsters in the old dungeon, we, the Brotherhood of Freedom, built a narrow tunnel connecting the old dungeon to the new. We had only used our secret corridor a few times when one of our support beams snapped. The walls fell down, blocking our tunnel completely. Fortunately, there is still another way into the new dungeon, though it is quite dangerous. It goes through the monster-infested old dungeon. We think there is a passage around the cave-in by traveling through the old dungeon to the southernmost cells. One of those cells connects to the other end of our tunnel, giving us access to the new dungeon again. Unfortunately, the warrior we sent down never came back up. We fear that he fell prey to the monsters that still lurk in the old dungeon. We are but servants, and you are a skilled warrior who may prevail. The key you have opens a secret door in the northern wall of the northeast pantry. Good luck visiting your family, and may the gods smile upon you. Do you want to enter the secret door and descend into the dungeon? Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen, right? You know, other than copious amounts of death and uh, dismemberment. Alright, uh, where do I start from? Okay, I see it. The dungeon is carefully and intricately built. It is clearly dwarven craftsmanship. These walls do not look dwarven. Look, there is big gaps. I see you there. I want you. I will have you. Oh yes, yes I will. The hall ahead is rougher and less intricate than the dungeon. The symbol on the floor shows that it was built by Sumia's Brotherhood of Freedom. <laughs> yeah, that seems bad. The hall opens into a rough-hewn chamber with one collapsed wall. It looks like the ceiling could fall at any time. I also see something down here, though. An old key. I'm kinda wondering if there's anything under any of these. Go ahead and bury that, uh, that body there. You find a note. Do you wish to read it? Sure. The note says, Journal of Ibn Kubja, Brotherhood of Freedom, Patriot, and Explorer Extraordinaire. Journal Entry 96. To my fellow freedom fighters, the who heroically resist the growing despotism of the Caliph, if you find these notes, I have perished in the attempt to secure a passage around the cave-in. But be not despondent. Rather, in my memory, redouble your efforts to resume my work. The key to the secret door into the old dungeon is hidden behind a boulder in the southeast corner of this room. I put it there to keep it safe from the scavengers that infest this place. Yeah, I found it already. It was not that well hidden.
Oh god. Oh god. Um. Sling? Oh, hey, they do poison. I assume that's just gonna run out. Why do I not have my sling? Because it's not actually readied. Wonder what happened to unready that. You find a secret door in the east wall. The old key fits. You can now pass through. I feel like I'm going to need to uh, pull up one of these uh, stones. Yeah, the poison was not that bad and didn't last very long. <laughs> that expression. That is, uh, that is uh, definitely a thing. on it? Let's find out. do you not get through? <laughs> oh. As you enter the hall, a hideous stench nearly overpowers you. I guess it wasn't that hard. <laughs> and I want to come out. I mean, that's fine with me. I, I don't mind not getting poisoned. Dang it, our legs are too wide. We can't get out. Alright, there does not appear to be anything else of uh, interest in there. Uh, there does appear to be a pressure plate there and a stone here that we might be able to... Uh, drag. The stench is strongest here. And we got some uh, stench. But what exactly that stench is, we will have to find out next time. See you then, everyone.